So you can see the pattern hopefully here on the on this fence. Uh, there's actually the lights will move, uh, but there there is a there's like a little bit of a blind spot that's supposed to line up with oncoming traffic, and we'll see how well that works as we drive. Uh, it's like a little shadow spot that's below the actual cutout, uh, the cutoff area there. So you can see the cutoff on this car. Um, you can see it's below the windshield. And the movement of the headlights, uh, to me, doesn't really add a lot. Um, but, you know, that's just kind of the way it's made. Now, some people might like that. I mean, the movement of the headlights, you can see them moving right there. And as we drive, you'll see them moving back and forth. And they just appear to, it seems like a little gimmicky, but you know, there might be scenarios in which uh, they might be useful. But for me, it just doesn't really seem to add much. All right, so that, person just flashed me so I wonder uh, if the light headlights are adjusted properly because <laughs> that sometimes happens okay so you can see that little shadow on the road on the to the left so that's supposed to line up with the oncoming traffic so but you can see the cutoff as we're going up and down the hill that cutoff is a little bit high there so you know it's one thing to have a cutoff, but if it's not lined up properly, then it might be an issue. We'll see if that's an issue with somebody else. Now, back there I was accelerating, so it's kind of lifting the front of the car up a little bit. Uh, but with bright LED headlights, you definitely want to have them adjusted properly so they're not, you know, blinding other drivers. You can see the movement of the headlights here. You can see this, like, to me, it just, I don't know, doesn't really add much, but I guess it depends on the, the environment. You know, like some people are on a really twisty, like a mountain road or something, where you're going up and down, twisting and turning and all that. Um, that might be useful for that scenario. It's just the environment I'm in that just doesn't seem to add much. Okay, so here we are in a dark road. Uh, so there's the high beams. back to low beams here now we're, we're dealing with a single projector on each side so just keep that in mind um, so you can see it we're not getting any brighter we're just shifting the lights up so you can see right there and I can see the road fine and it seems to be fairly evenly distributed on the road which is kind of surprising uh, because with two lights they're able to overlap enough to where it doesn't it's not very patchy so I think it did a pretty good job actually uh, not not the brightest headlights but as far as like being able to see at night this looks pretty good now this particular road has you know the trees off from the road pretty good so you can see the potential distance there is hopefully you can see uh, <laughs> how well the, the visibility is at nighttime but like I said the brightness isn't all that great and but it's still adequate you can still see it's it's not a problem but if you're accustomed to brighter headlights you know I mean I've seen a lot of different headlights and these are just a little bit dimmer than other ones I've seen but still considering it's just one projector I think the handle of the light uh, the light pattern and the um, just makes the visibility pretty good you know so we're turning just slight turns here and the headlights are moving slightly but seems to work okay let me know what you think in the comments though now it does have the automatic high beams and uh, they seem to work okay I mean so far with my experience I had them off a second ago but uh, turn them back on 
so that way I can keep an eye on that technology, make sure it's working properly. Yeah, we're getting a lot of flashing going on here with the automatic high beams. We're already flashing cars, even at low speeds, not a good sign.